Hey everybody, how's it going? Coming at you today with another Blu-ray update this time around. I only got one thing, but that one thing is more than one thing, and you'll see in a second. A uh, bit of backstory. I wasn't really planning to get anything. I've been saving my money for a uh, new computer. But when I saw this deal, it was one of those cases where it was just literally, I can't pass this up. So I was just searching around on WB Shop because there was a 40% off sale. I think it might actually still be on, depending on when I post this up. Just looking around to see, you know, what's there, if there's anything interesting, if there's any really good sales or anything that I might be missing out on. Because WB Shop sometimes has deals that, you know, if you're not paying attention, you'll just miss out on because everybody else tends to not look at WB Shop very often. So even the in the DVD collector community, there's not much of an attempt to be like, oh, you should check out WB Shop. Let me be the first to say that you should check out WB Shop from time to time. I'm putting a Gatorade. Because sometimes you'll find a deal that's literally better than anywhere else. And what deal was that for me this time around? Well, I finally got them. I got the Goonies, Gremlins, and Gremlins 2 Triple Pack. And would you like to know how much I paid for this? Nine dollars. Free shipping. Nine dollars. It only costs nine dollars to ship this for them to ship this to me with the slip cover. And um, as you can see inside here, it's literally just the uh, discs from each individual release in one case. Nifty little case. Now, normally I'm not a huge fan of getting these triple feature Blu-rays because usually they uh, either feature like a version of the film that's not that great, like it's not, not cropped correctly or whatever, or they feature a version of the movie that doesn't have any special features, or there's, you know, like for instance the uh, the Western one I got um, had How the West Was One, but it did not have the smile box version of How the West Was One, which only comes in the special edition. But these, these movies, for the most part, are titles that, in their individual releases, don't have any extra discs or any extra content that you're not going to find on this set. So, I've been looking at getting this set for a while, but on Amazon, it's been between 15 and $20 for quite a while. Which, to be fair, isn't that bad of a price when you consider how much each of these titles costs individually, typically. I mean, sometimes you can get this for five bucks, sometimes you can get this for like seven or eight bucks, but then this one is another like seven, eight to ten dollars sometimes, so it's like, when you consider that you're probably going to be paying over twenty dollars for all three of these titles individually, between fifteen and twenty dollars for this alone is not a bad price. But when I saw it for nine dollars, and even used on Amazon, you can't get it for less than like twelve bucks. When I saw it for nine dollars new on the WB shop, I knew that I had to pick this up, and I don't regret a damn thing. Now, friends of mine have pointed out that well, the Goonies doesn't really fit with Gremlins and Gremlins too, and what they say on the back here is it's the '80s adventures full of gruesome good times. Now, I agree, Goonies doesn't exactly fit with Gremlins or Gremlins 2, but that doesn't mean that it's not a good set. I got this because I wanted all three of these movies, because I don't have any of these movies in my Blu-ray collection yet. I still have the Goonies on DVD, but I don't have the Gremlins or Grem I don't have Gremlins or Gremlins 2, and I've been wanting these for a while. Like, the past few years I've been wanting these so that I can watch them around Christmas time. And each year that passes, it's just like, nope, can't afford it, nope, can't afford it, because it's always like 10 to 15 bucks, and it's just like, I can't get it, I can't get it, I can't get it. Well, now I could, because $9 for three movies means I'm paying 
three dollars for the goodies, three dollars for Gremlins, and three dollars for Gremlins 2. That's not a bad price. That's a very freaking good price for individually for all three of these movies. Um, the Goonies, I wanted to get the ultimate huge box set, but ever since it went on sale on Amazon for six bucks and I missed that sale, I have not been willing to pay more than six dollars for it because if it was six dollars once, then my brain tells me you can't pay anything more than that or else you're getting ripped off. Even if it's not necessarily true, my brain kind of betrays me in that way. Uh, and the Gremlins, they've, I've never seen them for about for less than five dollars. So three dollars instead of six, three dollars instead of eight-ish, and three dollars instead of eight-ish. I think I made out pretty damn well on this, and it wasn't about getting a collection that had a lot to do with one another. It was about getting all of these movies into my collection individually. Even though they're all in one big set here, the big thing for me is just having them in my collection, finally. So, there you go. If you wanted to know, The Goonies does have the special feature of commentary with hidden video treasures by director Richard Donner and select cast members, while Gremlin's 25th Anniversary Edition has over 10 minutes of additional scenes and a making of featurette. Uh, Gremlin's 2 has over 20 minutes of new footage not seen in theaters. So, I'm pretty sure it's literally just the uh, discs from the original releases placed into one nifty set, and I picked it up for $9. Now, that's the kind of deal you'd expect on Black Friday, but now, for some reason during the summer, WB Shop decided to do it for $9 in mid-July, early August. So, yeah. Bare bones, you're not getting anything super special, but I'm pretty sure in each of these releases you're not getting anything super special, except for the Goonies, where you can get the Ultimate Special Collector's Edition, which I may or may not get in the future, regardless of the fact that I now own it in this triple pack. Again, my point was just to get them in my collection. For $3 each, I think that's a pretty damn good deal. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace!